Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch from Moodle for Teachers and Integrating Technology for Active Lifelong Learning. Right now I'm on Integrating Technology for Active Lifelong Learning. This is Moodle version 3.8.3. We're not going up to 3.9 yet because uh, 3.9 doesn't have all the plugins I require. So let me just uh, click over here at the top left this is Iguro theme which is probably the easiest one to set up if you need help with that one let me know I am going to show you what you can do as the admin when it comes to users and bulk communication so I'm going to go scroll down here on the left notice this is just uh, two participants or users only see two columns not three as uh, in other themes so this is up to you of course but it is Moodle and you will be familiar with it even if it's slightly different so I clicked on site administration at the bottom left what I'm going to go into is users so here I am as you can see let me get rid of that you can see there's site administration and under that I've got everything I need so I'm going to go into users. I'm sure you have this. This is on every theme. Next I'm going to go notice over here there's browse users and um, bulk actions, bulk user specific action to users. So notice what's here. These are the filters and you're probably familiar with the filter. So I'm going to go into more which is a bit different all right so uh, these are the filters notice full name surname first name and so on um, i like the confirmed any value or if you want a specific value course role whatever you're probably gonna send messages to students but if you have other roles like parents you can add that okay or any role enrolled in any course system role now this is important manager or course creator cohort if you've set that up and then this is really relevant here access when they first accessed or before last access and modified if they've never modified authentication now this i like very much because these are all the think authentications now if you're interested in having them change their passwords and so on or other information then you can do it through the course but if you'd like to do it through the whole system that's possible as well so let's say we want everyone right now notice I have cut down on the users I deleted many of them that were not really active so these are the current users I click on all users and then I'm going to add to selection and you'll see them on the right in a second so let's scroll down and see okay they're on the right now all 371 of course if you're going to go through the filters then uh, that depends on how you do it but in my case I want everyone and then I'm going to with selected users notice choose I can confirm their account send a message delete all the users display on page download force password change now this is uh, what you might want to do force password change so you click on that and you want them to change your passwords in this Moodle site it's not username and password it's by authentication through Gmail Facebook or Microsoft so I don't have to worry about passwords thank goodness but this is how you do it let's say I want them to force password I would click on that and then go to go and they would all have to change their passwords okay that's how it goes it's really easy whenever they come back to enroll to uh, okay and then notice confirm you're going to confirm this uh, it's a long list of 300 and then click on the yes okay I'm not going to do that of course because I don't want them to get this message but that's how you do it if you want another message if you want to send them whatever message you want let's say you want to send a message you'll click on the send if you want to download of course 
send a message. You click on go and then you can send a message. Now notice if you've got, like I have in some of my sites, 15,000, 20,000 participants, you might be careful because that might uh, just uh, overload your server. So think about that. You might want to do it in a few uh, batches instead of uh, all 15,000 or 20,000. 300 is okay if your server is sturdy, which I hope it is. Okay, then you add your message, you save the changes, and that's how you send your message. So let me do that. Now I'm just going to write something here just so you'll see it, save changes. And then you'll see what's going to happen here. Okay, you need to confirm. There's always the confirm stage. All right, so that's good to know. Of course, I'm not going to do it. And that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.